Welcome to this short demo showing how, as a developer or tester, you can provision and deploy an environment for a hybrid application with components running both in Bluemix and on-premise, all in just a few clicks. Now, for most organisations, building hybrid applications at speed is difficult, as the development is limited by the speed with which the on-premise components can be changed and also the availability of environments to connect to. So this short demo will show you how IBM DevOps can be used to deploy hybrid applications and provision and connect on-premise environments to environments in the cloud, all in a few minutes. In this story, you're a developer on the vacation booking project. And normally, this application comprises three machines which require installing WebSphere, AppServer, MQ, DB2 and Tomcat, and then deploying the vacation booking application on top. However, the business has decided to move the web tier to Bluemix in order to allow the web components to evolve more quickly. But the decision has been made to keep the business logic and database on premise because this is used by a number of other systems that aren't ready to move to cloud yet. So as you're developing the web tier, you want to set up a new environment to work in and you need to deploy the web component to Bluemix, provision a new machine for your on-premise environment, install and configure the secure gateway and install and configure MQ. But because you're just developing the web tier, you'll deploy a virtual service for the rest of the system rather than deploying WAS and DB2 and thus saving the need to provision and configure two extra machines. Now, for many business systems, being able to stub aspects of the system with virtual services can save the need to deploy tens of extra servers. So it's really useful for maximizing your use of your on-premise resources. So finally, the deployment will run some functional tests that have already been recorded in order to test that the user interface and that the deployment um, is all behaving as expected. So let's get on and I'll show you the demo. So in this demo, you're going to start by going to the self-service catalog in order to request your new hybrid environment. You navigate down a couple of steps and you request the new VMware dev test environment. Once that comes up, you need to choose the blueprint that we're going to deploy and specify an environment name. And once you specify both those things, you can simply just press the deploy environment button. So at this point, a few other things are happening. Uh, the portal's checking whether you've exceeded uh, your quotas and it's automatically running any operational processes required for the new machine. So that could be things like registering them with CMDBs. Um, but in this case, it's just going to send you a notification via Slack once the deployment's complete. So now your request is underway, it's time to take a short, well-deserved break. And in about 10 minutes, you should receive a Slack notification telling you where your new environment is. So let's rejoin the action in a few minutes time. So welcome back. And you can see that we've now uh, received a Slack notification telling you where your environment has been created. So what's actually happened whilst we're away? Through the self-service portal, you provisioned a blueprint, and that blueprint configured the secure gateway service in Bluemix, deployed your web application to Bluemix, and configured it to use the secure gateway. The blueprint then provisioned a machine uh, on our local on-premise cloud, deployed the secure gateway Docker client, and configured it to talk to the secure gateway service on Bluemix. Now, this uses a secure IP tunnel to securely connect our on-premise application to our web application in Bluemix. The Blueprint then finally installed and configured MQ and deployed a stub for the rest of the system, and finally ran some functional tests against the Bluemix web application to verify that it was all working and connected up, all in about 10 minutes. So, even though all the tests worked, you decide to go through and check that everything is working as it should. So, you open up the web application, and there's a simple test you can do to check if everything is working. You can request the Barcelona flight, as you know that this exercise is all of the main components. If we can successfully book a flight, then we know that everything's working as it should be. Um, and we know that the web application is successfully talking to our MQ, which is deployed locally on premise and the virtual service is correctly responding to the requests from the website. And as you can see, that's all worked. So in just over 10 minutes, you've automatically deployed a hybrid application with virtual services. Finally, let's look at what happened under the covers. So first, if we go to our Bluemix portal, you can see the deployed application and also the secure gateway service uh, that got deployed by our blueprint. 
Here, you can see a graphical editor for heat orchestration templates, which allows you to define environment blueprints by dragging and dropping images, networks, and deployable components to quickly create a hot document which can be provisioned. You can see the machine we wanted to provision and each component that needs to be installed. And then behind each of those components is a more detailed workflow for how that component needs to be installed. And here you can see a more detailed flow for installing MQ. So by defining and executing the hot document, we get a fast and repeatable process that we can use across all our environments from development all the way through to production, saving lots of time and reducing deployment related defects. Finally, I'd just like to finish with saying that I hope you found the demo useful and that it showed you how, with IBM DevOps, you can save time by automating the deployment of hybrid applications and stubbing the parts of the system that you don't need, how you can improve quality and feedback with automated tests, and also how you can maximise the utilisation of your servers. So, thanks for watching.